Hey, hey, Living Waters. It's Director of Ministry, Katie Weber, and I am here on this snowy Friday. Does it snow every Friday? I'm starting to think it snows every Friday, at least flurries. I don't know. I think we're at like 30 days until spring, though, so we're going to make it. I hope. We did have fun outdoors, though, at the Outdoor Extravaganza this past Sunday. Um, we did some um, ice fishing. It was the first time for some of our kiddos out ice fishing. We were playing in the fish house. We did some, um, like, a boot soccer out there. That was pretty fun. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we played hide-and-seek in the cocktails and, like, Marco Polo. That was really fun. I'd do that again. 10 out of 10, I would do that again. So it was very fun. I've linked some pictures below. They're also out on Facebook if you want to check them out. Um, next on my list, we have Lent starting up on um, Wednesday, March 2nd. So that's not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. We do have folks helping out for um, soup suppers. So soup suppers, soup suppers are a go. Um, we are doing a little quick planning meeting this coming Sunday. Um, that's February 20th, 11, like 11 to 11, 20. Um, and we're just figuring out who's doing what and when. Um, we do have the National Honor Society students, some of them coming in and helping serve at least for two of the Lent weeks. So that's really helpful. If you have a high school senior who is in a government class or you know of a high school senior in a government class, um, they are required to get 10 community service hours for their class. Um, I did email those teachers and let them know that this is a service opportunity for their students. And I know at least one of the teachers did put it up on their morning meeting um, board because Addison was like, Mom, you were on the... So um, we, we do offer that service opportunity for others as well. Um, but we could use one or two more adults to help. So if that's something that you're feeling called to do, um, let me know or just show up to the uh, meeting on Sunday at 11. That would be fantastic. Next up, we have Ash Wednesday. Mark your calendars now. That is March 2nd. Worship will be at 7. Um, that will be like a full worship service with communion and um, imposition of ashes. Um, we do want to be sensitive to everyone's risk tolerance. So... Um, you will be able to take communion in your seat and do the imposition of ashes in your seat if that is what you are most comfortable with. Or beginning on that evening, you will be able to come forward again for communion and for imposition of ashes. Um, I will be passing around a clipboard for that, for um, helping out with serving communion. Um, and then moving forward on Sundays, we will be um, serving communion um, up at the front of the church. So coming forward for that again. So again, we'll need um, communion helpers for that and I will pass that clipboard. So just plan on there being clipboards being passed this coming Sunday. And if you don't see them, say, hey, Katie, where are they? And I will make sure to get them for you because sometimes I do forget. Um, that kind of leads me to um, the theme for this coming um, Lenten season, which is going to be Connecting to the source, um, connecting to the source of all, I'm just going to grab my sheet here, um, courage, mystery, purpose, forgiveness, and blessing. Um, so we're going to be exploring, connecting to the source, what it means to be connected to the source, um, and then really looking at our biblical responsibility um, to preserve God's creation. So I am super excited about that. I have seen the scriptures and I'm pretty pumped. Um, I think I say that every time we do like a worship series, but I think they just keep getting better and better. So, um, and then during Lent, the Wednesday evening service will be holden. You can plan on that service being about a half an hour. So it's not going to be the full high, holy, um, full service sermon, communion, all that stuff. It's going to be holding evening prayers. Um, I know we have the piano and the flute and it's just going to be so fantastic. So I hope you will make plans to join us. If not in person, we are going to be live streaming it. So um, hope to see, see you either in person or virtually for those services. Um, what else do I know here? Mm, Vanco. So if you use the Give Plus mobile app, 
and I'm recording on my phone so I can't like pull out, here's my phone, call my mouse my phone. If you use the app on your phone, um, they have, Give Plus Mobile has now changed to Vanco Mobile. So you are gonna need to download the app. The instructions are below in the e-blast. Um, and I think there's a note about it in the bulletin too. Uh, yes, so there's instructions in the bulletin too. We have until April 30th before the um, Give Plus Mobile app is officially being sunset, so no longer supported. Um, but we do want to go ahead and do it as soon as possible. So if you do use Vanco for your online giving, um, this would be an opportunity for you to um, update things. Um, if you haven't changed your donation for um, what you pledged for uh, 2022, now would be a time to do that. Um, and this would be a place where you can do that. You would just want to go ahead and cancel your um, current giving and uh, put in a new giving. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, if you have questions, just let me know and I can help kind of walk you through that process. Um, but uh, like I said, the detailed instructions are below and those are coming straight from um, Banco. So that is how you can do it. And you also can go online, livingwaterslutheran.org forward slash giving. Um, click on the Vanco, um, it's like a purple icon and you can give online there. So you should be able to do that um, from a computer then as well. Uh, what else do I know? Let me see. Um, I just want to take a second here because I'm like done with my announcements and announcements. At least I think I am. I should probably double, triple, quadruple check. Oh, just to say, um, Bible studies are still happening. We have the old and new on Wednesdays at noon via Zoom. Um, that is the Bible study on Genesis. Um, coffee and cards are happening Thursday mornings. It's a time of fellowship if you are interested in doing that. Um, we have been doing the weekly Wednesday evening Bible study, um, the Bible verse mapping stuff. We have been doing that um, via Zoom, which is working out surprisingly well. Um, so all of those things are still happening. Um, the Wednesday night Bible study will be on hold through Lent um, just because we will be doing Holden instead. Um, but just wanted to make sure you guys knew that that other stuff was still continuing during Lent. And then, you know, it, I just have to say, great stuff is continuing to happen here at Living Waters. Um, it felt kind of dark and heavy for a while, but boy, the light is just shining through right now. And it is so beautiful to continue to see the Holy Spirit moving and working among us and within us. And it's, <clears throat> it's just been um, delightful. Um, just, I just want you guys to know and to feel that those things, things are still wonderful and good things are happening and it feels like better things happen every single day. So um, thank you for your continued love and your continued support. And I just want you to know that things are good. So um, take care. Be well and God bless.